Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Miranda at Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan and I'm here with the setup in my faith planner for the week of Monday the 14th through Sunday the 20th. Now this is my first time for 2019 um, doing a plan with me in my faith planner but I certainly um, have been using my faith planner. So just to give you an idea of what I'm currently doing so Every single day, I um, read a, a scripture. It's called the Daily Text. And I read it, and I normally write the scripture down, and then I put points that I learned from that scripture. And don't mind this. I got my paper wet last week. <sighs> Long story. And it, it, it didn't happen because I was drinking something. Um, but I wanted to share the setup with you because I think it's quite interesting. It's a little different. Um, not something that I do all the time, but... Um, I'm going to take you guys on this journey. Um, one of my goals for 2019 is to read the Bible daily. So this is definitely um, the start of that. You have to make small incremental steps that's going to get you to your goal. So we'll start with this. So I decided to pull washi tape from Simply Gilded, the skinny um, navy blue and rose gold and the lavender and rose gold. I may use these glitter um, quarter boxes. They are from the Planning Queen. I had them for quite some time. I'm going to use stickers from a couple of different books. One of them is going to be this Happy Box Mega Book because it has shades of um, blues and it has shades of purple. I'm also going to perhaps use the Joanne Mega Sticker Book. And I was just thinking I probably this will be a good opportunity to use my new wellness sticker book. So I'm going to grab that and um, bring that out to use as well because I think it has that same color palette that I'm looking to put down. So <clears throat> we'll begin by laying some washi and I may end up just using the five millimeter and the 10 millimeter as I would really like to conserve the room to actually write versus um, decorate. So I will tell you this is not super de duper decorated I can I can assure you of that it's not all decorated okay let me move this up so you guys can see that would be nice so as I jump into this video um you guys make sure that if you enjoy uh, this faith plan with me you give me a thumbs up letting me know that you like it comment below um what setup are you currently using for your faith planner and what planner are you using to do faith planning? I would certainly be interested in knowing. And I'm going to alternate them because I think it'll be pretty. And then last but not least, if you are have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. So make sure that you do not forget to click the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I put any new content up on my channel. So um, the next couple of weeks, just to give you a heads up, you'll be noticing that I'm trying to get into um, a good routine for my videos. And my goal is to provide you guys a video every day. And in order to do that, I have to be very well disciplined. I have to use my planner to stay on task. But uh, I think it's a, it'll be a great thing. A great, great thing. All right. So I'm going to start by laying the washi and I'm going to alternate it. And I'll alternate it the exact same way on the other side. I will put down a few stickers and then I will um, also share with you how I set up my planner for the week as well. Because just um, this daily text is just one part of my faith journal. I also, um, I also do Bible reading. Um, two chapters a week is what it averages with the rest of my congregation. So right now, um, I'll show you how I've set my month up where I've planned out for the entire month, what I'll be doing. And that helps me so much because it's not a guessing game. I don't have to bring out anything to know where to go. I could just look right in my planner. Oh, that's so pretty. We need to trim this off though. That wasn't so pretty. Well, that's still on there. Okay, very good. All right. So we'll start at the bottom here 
and y'all know Simply Gilded. Um, Irene must be left-handed because of how <laughs> the washi tape flows. And I know another, I think that was Shea Budgets that pointed that out. Okay. And I'm gonna go way up here to the top and I'm gonna lay that down here and we are gonna keep it moving this like I said this is not going to be lengthy at all because I need all the space in this horizontal to really kind of write and um, in order to do that you just cannot decorate it but so much it would be a waste of it'll be a waste of your time so yep Let's see this last little piece right here. I know I'm cutting off some of my usable space by putting the little thicker washi here, but it'll be okay. I just have to write super tiny and super neat. All right, so that's that on that. Um, let's see. I... I think we can use these, alternate these to write down the actual scripture. So I think I will go this way with them. And let's see what else I can get besides these. I love these, these are so pretty. I have not, oh. Okay, so we can make them different. Let's see. No, they don't have to be the same on each one. You can actually put this one up here. Because we do have to notate what the text is every day. Okay, and then we'll go here. I really hope that I have enough to do all of them. And y'all know I have to shout out my girl, Lisa Mack, for getting me this book because I have not been able to find this book anywhere in Charlotte, this sticker book. Thank you, Alicia. Okay. Gotta keep going. I know there's some more. Ooh, I like these meditate. That's important. All right. Um, come on, come on, come on. Is there some rose gold ones? Come on. Come on. Oh, I like this cultivate kindness. I'm getting ready to cover up that where it says notes and we're gonna put that cultivate kindness right there. Oh, this book is so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna bring it down a little bit because I don't want it to cover up the verse of the week. We may have a verse of the week. I don't have one in mind right now. But that could quickly change. So let's go down here to the bottom and put in the Cultivate Kindness and that way it's not taking up any space. All right, we still have to figure out this thing. So I was looking to see if there was any other, um, were there any other boxes that I could use and I'm going to say that there are. I just have to find them, that's all. That is all. Come on. All right, so we know you're coming here, right here. Okay. 
And then we're gonna put a little darker one than that one over here. I really don't wanna do that I'm feeling, but don't worry, I'll find something to cover up that I'm feeling. I'm not even worried about it. totally back and sorry for the interruption but it happens and I just want to let you guys see how this came out and um, explain exactly what I'm going to do um, with this um, with this decorated spread so this is my faith planner spread from um, Monday January the 14th through Sunday January the 20th um, I use navy blue and rose gold five millimeters simply gilded washi tape as well as um, 10 millimeter lavender and rose gold simply gilded tape. I use stickers from three places. I use the happy, um, I think it's called a happy, what's it called? I'm lying, it's not called a happy, it is. It's called the Be Happy um, Box Mega Books. It's your year to shine. I use stickers from there. I use stickers from our new wellness sticker planner. A wellness sticker book sorry getting these names all wrong and um, those were the two sticker books that I use to pull all these um, all these lovely stickers from and what I do with this particular part of my faith planner is I normally write my scripture and then I write exactly what the scripture says here and then I pull three points that I would like to remember from that scripture and also I found this little um, sticker in mint green that says meditate so I added that to the spread as well Love the way it came out. Love the color scheme. All right, so the rest of this, um, this will be um, preparation where I will um, follow along with the rest of my congregation. And I believe we're reading Acts 23 and 24 this week. So this part is called Digging for Spiritual Gems. I got this sticker from Little Miss Fancy Pants that's um, at home with Kita. So I'll go in and I will pick out some things um, that I points that I got or gems if you will um, from those two um, chapters of the Bible and then um, and last but not least we have um, we're reading a book or studying a book called Jesus the way the truth and the light and so I just put some notes that I'm going to take here my magazine study on Sunday little notes I want to take there and then we have like our, our sermon um, also given on Sundays and I will put the title there, the name of the speaker, and then I will just take notes on this page. And I just decorated it so it's so cute. And normally I just make about one page of notes. And that is my total completed faith planner. So the next time you see this, I typically don't really show what I write. Um, but, you know, it's, this holds me accountable. It's definitely a visual to my daily Bible reading and really, really digging into the scriptures. And as I mentioned in a previous video faith planning really keeps me grounded and so i will continue to have this as a part of my planning routine so once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me the thumbs up boom 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 
Um, comment below, are you currently faith planning? And if so, what are you, in what capacity are you using that faith planner? And then last but not least, if you've not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button there along with the bell so you'll be notified anytime I update, update or upload new content. All right, guys, I hope you have a great and productive week. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Bella.